excited today because I get so many emails from all of you saying, how do you start your, how did you start your business? You know, what are some resources, some books to check out? And you know, I think it's really, you know, unique when you're a parent starting a business because you don't have a lot of time. You, your money goes all to your kids. And so there are very few things that I have time to watch or listen to. And David Seitman Garland is here with us today. And I swear it's always in the background when I'm doing my work late at night because he has amazing content with great guests and he's freaking entertaining. <laughs> he's so funny. So I'm welcome to the show, David. I'm so excited that you're joining us for a coffee talk. Oh, thanks so much. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm sort of a mom today. I even have a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich right here. And so I, I'm, I'm excited to be here. That's awesome. So David, I'm, I'm going to write a whole blurb about you below, uh, but you are the founder of the Rise to the Top, which is the number one non-boring resource for entrepreneurs. Um, you have an amazing show, amazing content. You also have a show on ABC. I mean, you're everywhere. Um, let, tell us a little bit about yourself. I mean, the 30 second, yeah. one minute spiel. Cool. Yeah, the quick spiel, exactly like that. I've had a passion for really entrepreneurship. Um, as I grew up, I want. I, I was fascinated by people that were making money in unconventional ways. They were doing things that they really enjoyed. It was something different than like you know running a bank or or running like an office building. And those things, I took that passion to really try to pick the brains and learn from the most creative entrepreneurs in the world. And that's where the rise to the top came from was to help people really do the same. And and so since you know I started it a few years ago, it's really grown a lot, and I've done 200 plus interviews with all kinds of people like you, Jessica, um, people that are very passionate and interesting, and you know display those interviews for everyone to see. And we've kind of grown an audience from zero to 100,000 in less than two years, which has been pretty wow. exciting. Wow. And you know it, it led to an interesting book deal, um, which is which is coming out right now. So so a lot of interesting things going on. And there I it is, it right here. I got it yesterday. There were several copies. I think I bought out the whole Barnes and Nobles next to me. So we appreciate that. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about this, because obviously everybody, you guys have to check out this show, because the show is. I mean, I haven't read the book completely. I just got it yesterday. I'm excited to do so. But the show is amazing. So is this just kind of a book version of your show, or like, what are we going to find here? Why are we going to spend time reading it? Yeah. Totally. Great question. And by the way, besides to find stories about you, because there's Jessica Kim in the book, and if you're not looking at Jessica Kim's story, you are. Not, you know, look in the index, you can find it. But the idea behind the book, I wanted to write something very different. And here's the really the big premise behind it. It's, it's based on my personal experience plus a lot of the interviews. So it's it's both. And what it's come together is sort of be this guide for entrepreneurs and aspiring entrepreneurs a new way to market and promote themselves. And I think this is so critical because wh wh whether you're a mom or you're, you have a blog or whatever it is, there, there's the act of starting something and then there's the act of getting people to pay attention and really care about it. And so the book was centered around that idea. How can you market and promote your business without being a jerk, without spending a lot of money, you know, with people, you know, really liking you as opposed to shoving products down their throat. And I use it from my experience of building the show, like I said, and tons of interviews to kind of put together this fluff free buffet of ideas that people can use to build their business. Yeah. I love the fluff free thing. I mean, what's the phrase that you always say at the end? If you want some fluff, go pet a bunny. <laughs> love it. Um, okay, so where can we get this? I mean, is it just online? Is it, you know? Yeah, you can get it anywhere. So, so the official date is, is now. Uh, December 7th is the, is the release date everywhere. So you can get it um, on Amazon. You can get it at your local book retailer. And, and you know what? If you go in there and they don't have it, cause a scream and fight and go crazy and, and tape it and send it to me. Um, and we can be entertained by that. Uh, but you can also, if you go to smarterfastercheaper.com, we got a lot of cool specials going on this week as well. So if you buy it, you get access to things like Q&A webinars, free advertising on my show. We're drawing a few Skype sessions. And Jessica, this is the big one. We've got, if you want some fluff, go pet a bunny shirts coming but, in. Just uh, saying. You need to give value, one. I'll wear it. <laughs> priceless. Priceless value. Okay. So in this book, I mean, I'm sure you've interviewed amazing people just like and funny, crazy stories. Like what's one of the funniest stories that you've heard or the most creative one that really got a business off the ground? Oh, wow. That, that's an interesting one. I mean, <laughs> there's one that I think a lot of people know. And that is uh, Tim Ferriss, who wrote the book, The 4-Hour Workweek. And I think he's a great example of someone that always marketed and promoted smarter, faster, cheaper, as opposed to dumber, slower, expensive. Because you've got to realize that Tim's product, and replace whatever 
your product, if you have one or thinking about one or just want to promote something, was a book, right? He had the four hour work week. That was the first thing he came out with. And instead of focusing on all the traditional methods of marketing and doing all that kind of stuff, Tim got to know bloggers. He got to know online content creators face to face. He went to conferences, he contacted them online, but he didn't push the product. He didn't come in and say, you know, he didn't do like what I would do or something like where you take the book and you're like, hello, you know, and that turns people off when, you, when you're that pushy. Like, can you, do, can you promote, can you do this without a relationship, without a pre-existing relationship? Instead, Tim focused on relationships with bloggers and new media sources. He told them about a bigger concept than the book. And as opposed to just talk about the book, he talked about a concept called lifestyle design, which was new at that time. And so he was talking about lifestyle design. He was talking with other people that resonated that. And then when his book came out, months and months later, he had like a small army of supporters just because they became friends. And that's how the book basically launched and became a New York Times bestseller because these blogger relationships. I think the takeaway from that um, for anyone is replace book with whatever you have is the idea that you, know, you don't lead with the product. If you focus on relationships with the key people in your industry or niche, good things happen down the line. It's not you know, an, a one night stand, it's more of a long term relationship. Um, what I love about you is that you're really approachable. Um, it's, you have all these inspiring stories, but you always have your take on it. And I think for us parents, I think especially, that's really, it's, it's good to know. Because sometimes when you start your own business, it's, it can be overwhelming. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think for, for moms at home, I, you know, I think that creating a, a interactive blog or creating some kind of content around something you're passionate about is good for so many different reasons. Number one, you know, it's a great creative outlet, honestly. You're busy, you're home. You know, I work from home. And I think to keep in mind, just because that getting started with creating content around something that you love is so much easier now than it was even five years ago. I mean, getting a very simple blog set up and posting content and doing videos, things like that, it doesn't take some kind of tech genius to figure out anymore. I mean, it doesn't matter really if you know the difference between a megabyte you know, and a spider bite. It just right. doesn't matter anymore. And I think you know, Gary Vaynerchuk, someone that you've worked closely with, yeah. is a great example like that. People, you know, hundreds of thousands of people tune into Gary's wine show on a, on a monthly and honestly a daily basis, right? And Gary will be the first one to tell you <laughs> that he is not the tech expert. He doesn't know what he's doing at all with that kind of stuff. But instead, he's just passionate about the content. He gets it out there. And then the secret sauce, Jessica, is talking with like-minded people about it. Right. And that's really the magic uh, of kind of building an audience or community. That's awesome. Well, David, I'm so excited that everyone's going to get to know you. I mean, you have been such a resource for me, and I thank you for that. I mean, I took all – I mean, I was even starting this whole web show, you guys. This is the first of our series, and I go to David, and he told me every single way how to do it. You know, I have the whole microphone here. Don't I look so you – know, Oh, you do. Here. That's, like, super efficient. I love it. <laughs> so thank you so much. I'm going to link everything up. We're so excited, and uh, everyone needs to watch you and watch out for you because I really think that you're in the next Donnie Deutsch. <laughs> Nice. Like well, thank you. I'll, I'll, ta I'll take that as a massive compliment. You know, yeah, I mean, you know, check it out. I I've got all kinds of free stuff that you can get on the rise to the top. If you're interested in, you know, starting your own business or growing your own business or even just I want to promote a hobby of mine or I want to get involved with that, you know, there's a lot of free stuff. I do, um, you know, multiple shows a week plus all kinds of articles and stuff. So you can check that out on the rise top.com, all for you for free. And yeah, if you want to support the book, smarterfastercheaper.com shows you all the stuff. There's all kinds of, like I said, cool stuff that's going on this week. And, and you know, and again, it, it's not all about business. And I think that's one of the key things is that this book is really about doing something you're passionate about, whether you monetize it or not, or it's just something that you enjoy. I think there's a lot of value in it. And, and you know, whether you're a mom, dad, you know, or squirrel. Yep. <laughs> I, we're going to sign out, David. Thank you so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> thanks, Jessica, for having right, me on. Thanks, David.